Table four shows the input P and output Q for a linear function. Letter A, fill in the missing values of the table. All right, so first thing is, uh, whenever I know that they're giving me an input and, a, and an output, what I like to do is I like to just rewrite the variables. It doesn't matter what you call them, all right? It doesn't matter what you call them. Let's call this, um, let's call this uh, X, all right, and Y. Uh, if they tell us the input is P, then I can call it an X. The output would be then a Y. I like to do that because it's just easier to remind me of the linear functions, right? Formula Y is equal to MX plus B. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll, in the end, just make sure we go back and make that change. All right. So now, uh, basically, what defines a linear function? Well, when we have the formula Y is equal to MX plus B, there are two things that define it, the slope and the y-intercept. All right, for any function, for any particular function, the slope will be constant and the y-intercept will be constant as well. So basically what I need to do in order to figure out then point A and point B, I first actually have to identify the slope of this thing. And we're able to find the slope of this thing because we actually know two points, okay? This is like my, let's call this like my X1 and this would be my Y1 and this would be my like x2 and this would be my y2. So knowing that I have two points, you know that if it's a linear function and you have two points, you can easily solve the slope by knowing the slope formula, that the slope is equal to y2 minus y1, or the change in y, divided by x2 minus x1, aka the change in x. So now let's just plug in the values, right? This is so nice. So y2 we defined as 700, minus y1 we defined as 400, divided then by x2, which we defined as 0 0.8, minus then x1, which is 0 0.5. Okay, just doing some math, right? We got 300 on the top. Then we're going to have uh, 0 0.3 on the bottom. And then when you divide these two into, when you divide one into the other, it's going to work out to be 1,000. Okay, that is the slope. All right, so now that we have the slope here, what can we do? Well, we can do one of two things. I mean, we can find, I realize part B says write the linear equation. We could do that now if we wanted, uh, or we can find the missing pieces. So why don't we why don't we first find the missing piece A, all right? So let me just go in here, let me just erase that. And now I'm gonna be using the slope formula again. Why? Well, if you notice, anytime you have an equation and you know all the variables except for one of them, you can always solve for that missing variable. So my goal here is to say, well, if this is a point, and this would be like one of my y values, so let's say that's my let's say that's my y two for example, then that means I don't know this, and that means now I better know all of these other pieces in order to solve. So do we know all of those other pieces? And the answer is yes, we actually do. Right, we just found what the slope is over here, so I know that the slope there is one thousand. That I know, so I put a little check. Do I know then another point? Because remember, in order to calculate the slope using the slope formula, you need two points. So this is one point, right? And the top one would be labeled x2. You can choose any other any other point you like, except for this one. You can't use this one because look, you don't know then x1. And then you'd have two unknowns, right? And that would be uh, how, right? Can't really, can't really do that. We can find the relationship between them, but you can't find the exact value. So what we want to do now is we want to use a point that we know both for. So we can use one of those two. It doesn't matter actually which one you choose. I'm just going to choose this one. All right. So this would be then defined as my Y1 and this one would be my X1. And now notice I know everything except for the Y2. That gives me the green light to say, okay, you figured out how to approach it. You know how to solve this. All right. So watch. So here now we're going to plug in. So we're going to say M will be equal to... Uh, y2 is a, right? Y2 is a minus y1, which is going to be 400, all divided by then uh, x2, which is 12 minus 0 0.5, which is the x1. So, oh, the slope also, right? We know the slope. I forgot to plug that in. Sorry. That's 1000, right? And now we can just, well, let's start simplifying some things. So this is just a minus 400. And then this would then be divided by now uh, 11.5. We can now cross multiply, right? So 11.5 times 1,000 will simply be 11,500. And that's going to be equal to 
a minus 400 times 1, which is obviously just a minus 400. And then just simply add the 400 on over to the left-hand side. And what do you get? You get a value here of approximately 11,900 is equal to a. And look, you just figured a. There it is. All right. So let's take that value, and we're just going to put it on up here for now. Okay. And actually, no, I'm going to leave it there. Okay. And let's now do the, uh, let's, let's find B. Now again, same process, right? So why don't you actually try it? Try it and check your answer now. All right. I'm going to call this my Y2, and this will be my Y, uh, excuse me, my X2 value. And I'll choose the same point over here again. You didn't have to. Um, Y1 and X1. Okay, great. So now I'm going to write the slope is equal to Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. The slope then becomes the Y2 value is a million minus then Y1, which is 400, divided by then X2, which we defined as B minus then x1, which is 0 0.5. Also, we know the slope, right? I should have plugged that in. So the slope is 1,000. Remember, the slope is constant because it's a linear function. So now let's, uh, let's do a little math here. So there's going to be 1,000, right? will be equal to uh, 999,600, okay? Divided then by b minus 0 0.5. Now we have to cross multiply, right? So it's 1,000 times then b minus 0 0.5 is equal to 999,600. And it looks like four zeros there. Sorry. Now distribute, right? So it's going to be 10,000 B minus then 0.5 is essentially half. So what's half of 1,500, right? And that's equal to 999,600. We've got to isolate B by itself. That means we've got to add the 500 on over. Okay, this is becoming lovely, right? So I'm going to do the I'm going to do the final process here. This is 1000 B will be equal to now. Uh, this will actually be 1 million 100. And then divide out now the 1000 from both sides. And we realize now B will be equal to you can basically just cut off, right? That value out there if you wanted. Um, in terms of, though, a decimal, if I mean, it depends on how you want to write this out. If you wanted to write it in terms of a decimal, we might have to get a little more exact here, but I don't think it really kind of matters. This would be basically a 1,000.1, all right? So that's that. So that's letter B, all right? That's what B is. Now, we have to also find, so that's part A, and then it says for part B, write the linear function. All right. So now let's move the A value on out. Let's move the v, B value on out, all right? And let's just do some erasing. Let's clean this up a little bit, all right. So how are you guys doing today? Hopefully good. If you just saw the prior video on this, then it's the same day for you. So I hope your day is still going well, even though it might have only been about 10 minutes later. You never know, a lot could happen in 10 minutes, right? You could go from struggling, let's say, with a math problem to, I don't know, euphoria that, hey, it's not so bad, right? And hopefully these videos help you do that. So let's find the linear function. Now, remember, to find the linear function, what they mean is find the, find the m value and the b value. Now, we know what the m is already. I mean, we found it. It's 1,000. So we now have to find b. Now, look, I have a formula. Anytime I know all the variables except for one, I can solve for the missing one. So if I want to find B, that means I better know these three. So I know the slope, and now what's the Y and what's the X? Remember, in any linear formula, Y and X represent a single point on the line. And what that means is that I can choose any point I like if I know them and plug it in. Now, I would suggest, though, you don't choose these two, even though you could. I suggest you don't because what happens if you made a mistake with the A and the B? Well, that means then if you plug that into this, now you're going to be also wrong for part B, right? So I would shy away from that. Although you could, why, why compound a silly mistake twice, right? As I mentioned a lot of times, avoiding the silly mistakes is really the key, okay? Not only in math, but in life in general. So why don't we now uh, plug in, uh, let's just say this particular point, okay? Since they gave it to us, 
It would be hard to mess it up unless you copied it down wrong. Right? You could still make a mistake, obviously, but we're minimizing the likelihood. So times then the slope, which we found to be 1,000 times the x value of 0.5, would be then plus b. So this is then 400 is equal to, what's half of 1,000? 500 plus then b. Subtract the 500 on a cross, and lo and behold, voila, negative 100 is equal to b. All right? And now we can write our equation. So now when we write our linear equation, it would be y is equal to mx plus b. I'm going to plug in then the values for m, right? The value for m is 1,000 times x plus then the b value, which is really minus 1,000, excuse me, minus 100, so I can just say minus 100. You could, you could if you wanted, kind of pull out common terms, but I'm going to leave it alone, all right? And just don't forget now, let's go back to the table. Let's erase now this. Right, remember what I called x and what I called y. So now I just have to plug in those variables and then I'm going to go. All right, so q would be equal to 1000 times p minus 100. And there it is, that's it, simple. All right, so hopefully this helps, guys. If it did, please help us out by subscribing, telling your friends, and hitting the like button. All right, those three things mean the world to us. Thank you very much.